So we have Challenge Rift 183 that we're going to complete live today. So you can open up your skills, or better yet, click on the Soul Mirror if you want to see everything. It's an Unhallowed Essence multi-shot type build, kind of unique, definitely not ideal. Uh, no gems equipped either, other than the legendary ones, so that's strange. Also missing a Canize Cube item. But anyway, skills that we're using, Hungering Arrow, Multi-Shot, Rapid Fire, Shadow Power, Companion, and Vengeance. All you really need to do is activate your Vengeance here, which is on cooldown right now, but it'll be off in a second. Activate that, keep that up for damage reduction, and pretty much all you have to do is use a multi-shot to kill enemies. When you start running out of your hatred there, you can use Hungering Arrow to get some back, and keep on multi-shotting. Uh, also, Wolf Companion for increased damage. You won't really need to use that, to be honest. You can, but you're already going to be one-shotting everything. And then, of course, we've got Shadow Power here, which will, again, reduce more damage taken. It is quite squishy, but because everything's going to die one shot, you just got to be careful to keep your hatred up there. Everything dies, even if it's off-screen. As long as it's hit by the multi-shot, it will die. So, if you're not taking damage and enemies can't get close to you to inflict any damage, then you don't really need much... Uh, damage reduction but it's there in case you want it anyway again the the vengeance keep it up whenever it's available but because the cooldown is so low on this character we're not going to have it up anywhere near 100% of the time as you can see there so you can alternate between that and shadow power but keep a distance use your multi-shot and everything will die anyway let's do this one together So again, the only issue here is running out of your hatred, but don't spam your multi-shot. You don't need to. Especially now when you've got the shield pile on. Just keep on moving. I wish there was like a bolt or something to increase movement speed. Well, we just keep on moving. Slow and steady. Condi pylon. So you see enemies, cast a multi shot, and every now and then just a hungering arrow as well. But keep your distance. Pylons are quite common here. Watch out for that furnace. And we keep on moving. Darkness awaits, you. Darkness awaits us. Apparently. Too sure who's going to show us the darkness here, though. So, yeah, you can kind of get into the rhythm of letting off these hungering arrows and then every now and then just let off a multi shot. Anything that the multi shot clips, it's going to die. Generally, I like to move to the right here on these maps. Otherwise you can go, you can definitely come across a dead end. You don't want that. Oh shit! So, don't get too close to enemies. I was trying to avoid the uh, furnace there, but that's okay. One death. We want, we just want the materials anyway. Pylon down here.
We don't have much mobility either, there's no vault. So that's a shame. But anyway, it's just a challenge rift. It's not going to take too much time. Free materials for the seasonal journey. And I think once the Rift Guardian pops, I'm going to try and maybe keep the Shadow Power available. Just in case. Oh! Killed by the Twister. God damn it. It's all good. So, multi-shot will definitely down the Rift Guardian. And there you go. This week's challenge rift done.